We're live? No, seriously, we're live? Oh, we're live! Hey, everybody! It's Festool Friday. Yeah, and this is Festool Live. It's 12 o'clock. Hey, I'm just going to hand my stick off to my intern. Thank you very much. Hey, look, it's Jason Bent. Everybody, we are live here at JLC, Journal of Light Construction Show, in the U. Yes, tool and fastener booth, baby. Okay, thank you very much for having us. Today's episode is about the TPC, but before we start, I gotta introduce our crew. He's here in Providence. It's Big D. Behind the camera, we have Chris, the unit cyber. Everybody here can see he's quite the unit. Okay, and Brent's online and Mini stayed home. So we're working it live from the booth, and I'm gonna go over the TPC, I already said that, but this is what I also wanna show you. Chris, can you pan the crowd here? It's unbelievable, we've got a heck of a crowd. It's wonderful, we appreciate everybody coming out. For all of you that came out, we had t-shirts, they went quick. We're gonna be handing out more live t-shirts at live events, and they're the new Festool Live. Does somebody get one of those t-shirts to show everybody? I guess we have, look, check it out. This is the new Festool Live t-shirt. It says Festool Live, the back as well. It's Friday, it's Festool Live, baby. All right, those are only gonna be handed out at live events, so thank you. Okay, so what episode is this? 89? Wow, and as Big D says, we're only 11 away from syndication, so hang in there. Boy, we got a lot playing. Hey, next week we'll be back in Indiana, so that's gonna be wicked cool. All right. Where do I start? We had a little get together last night. We were showing the new TPC. This is our wood, steel, and hammer drill all in one. Okay, we've always had one. It was called the PDC, and I'm gonna put this out because I'm gonna show you all the killer upgrades on it. Okay, the handle's longer. I'm gonna talk about the handle. You rotate it like this. I'm gonna take off, it comes with an all steel chuck, but I'm gonna rotate that, and it comes right off. Okay, this is really nice. It has that central tech feel to it. It has this little rib here that goes right in here, and it's really nice, so check that out. Okay, so let's talk about a few differences. One of the calls I used to get all the time on this unit right here was, explain this. Somebody was here this morning before we did started live and said, this confuses me. I go, guess what, it won't anymore because now we came up with this, we simplified it, okay? <clears throat> I'm gonna go through this so you can see it. If you're drilling wood or steel, it's in drill mode. If you want to go to hammer, now you have a concrete drill. But I have a way of explaining that better. I'm going to go back to drill, okay, and watch the fast fix stub. It doesn't really push in, right? I'm going to switch it over to hammer. Now look at it. See how it goes all the way in? And you see that movement in there? A hammer drill rotates the bit. Chris, come up here really quick so you can see this. A hammer drill spins like this, but when you push it, it goes back on a cog system like this and it vibrates the tip of the bit right here. Okay, so hey, let's do a little demo on that so you can see it as I go through it. You'll see, I'm just gonna take this here. Okay, the other new feature, instead of this, you see this switch here going back and forth? It was lateral like this. This here, you have one, okay, and I always explain this about a drill. When you're in low RPM, you have more torque, okay? Two, it's a, it's a lot faster. Three, do you see how I did that? You can actually go diagonal, but when you switch this gear, new gear system, don't do it while it's running, okay? And then when you have it in four, which is good, you get about 3,600 RPM. Look how fast that spins. Cool, okay, I'm gonna put this on here. And you're gonna hear this morning when we were using this, this was wailing on this concrete block. But one of the other highlights we were showing today was this. This is our, and we've always had it, this is our dust extraction nozzle uh, with a half inch aperture here. So when I take this, I, beauty of Bluetooth, right? I have this here. And 
yes, I'm going to hear that noise in my sleep tonight. <laughs> but it's effective because you're vibrating that carbide tip. The other thing to remember about the nozzle is when you're doing anchors like this, right, or you're drilling for an anchor, what are you going to do if you don't have dust extraction? You have to go back out. And I've seen people on job sites, they blow out the hole, right, with a compressed air, and that goes all the way up in the air. Or they backtrack, they drill it first, and then they come by, right, and they have to do this. This gets the dust all the way out of the hole. That's an accessory, by the way, but I wanted to show you that. So that is just some of the basic things with the new drill. Oh, somebody asked this about the nozzle yes it works on wood okay and yes it works on the side it works vertical so it's, it's a great drill accessory I thought I'd highlight it a little bit today because I don't want to have Chris clean up for hours afterwards okay good so you all know about our central text right it has that elongated hex right it fits back in the spindle, so you have great transfer of torque from the battery through the motor and out to the tip. And we have the central tech. Okay. Man, I'm getting there, everybody. Hang tough. So you have that, but you, and you're going to notice if you've ever, if you've owned one of these or no, I'm going to turn the light off, and I'll get to that in a few minutes. You're going to notice you don't have these nibs here. Okay, and I'm going to pull this off so you get a you get a better look at it. Okay, but you still have this cog system. So, whew, hopefully, I'm explaining this correctly. These nibs, and when somebody was looking at this last year, year before, they we you were very well known for our different fast fixed chucks. In fact, this is what we call the fast fix stub. But what a lot of people don't know is you can actually use that as a takeoff. And I've, I've seen some people get in tight spots with that, but I'll leave it there. Okay. So, everybody loved this concrete drill, but this did not work with it. We had a proprietary drill chuck that went on here like this, and man, I was, it was always, a, for me, it was always two-handed. But I would get it on there, and I would find the cogs, and there's your right angle. But once again, it didn't take this. So along comes the TPC, and guess what? Now you can use the eccentric chuck, and this is a beautiful chuck. This is the new upgrade. I think I've gone through it already on a Festool Live. But the old eccentric chuck and right angle chuck You'd have to take this green ring and loosen it and move it. Not anymore. You lock the uh, gray ring, and now at 16 positions around the horn, every 22 and a half degrees, you have uh, the ability to get within a quarter inch of any wall or any tight spot. So there you go. <sighs> so right angles the same way locks in and you can swivel like this. Now you're probably asking online, hey I have a T18, I have a C18, will these new ones fit on it? Absolutely. So I thought I'd cover it. Now some of you, <coughs> Tim, may have one of these right? And if you get a new one, guess what? Even this we made retrofit and that's why we have those cogs on there. Okay, we didn't want to leave you out. Cool. Thank you, appreciate it. You're welcome Tim. Cool. All right. It comes with an all steel chuck. Very heavy duty. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get this handle on just in case. I don't want to go for a walk. Hey, here's, here's a new feature. You can't see it on here. All right? But some of you probably know or have probably encountered this. I know I have. You're working with a really big bit or a hole saw. Okay, and you're using the drill and it catches, right? Man, you twist your wrist, right? Well, this new feature is anti-kickback and you'll see it blinking right here. It resets itself, okay? It shuts off and then it resets itself. Okay, so there's less tendency to twist your wrist. It's a killer safety feature. All right, so <clears throat> as I'm gonna, we're going to drill a few uh, screws uh, or a few um, uh, holes with these uh, auger bits, but I want to show you this clutch. It's an electronic clutch. You reach its max. Let me just do this. 
I'll get my central tech on, just like this. I'll put this in, and I'm gonna get this small screw, okay? Okay, and let's get it started. Chris, can you come over here? So I'm gonna get this, and as I do this, let me get it started. Okay, so down here, Chris, if you can see this, okay, the lower the setting, but hopefully you can hear this, it's beeping. Okay, that's telling me I need, what, not more torque, but I need to put it in drill mode, okay? And that just syncs it effortlessly, and that's in speed number two. So there's, there's just a, a couple of tips. Also, Chris, come in here. <clears throat> See how it's in drill mode? And watch the light. Okay, it, it cycles off. Some people don't want a light. That's what that is. It's always in drill mode, not in clutch mode. And then you have this one where you can leave it on just like that for an extended period of time. It'll shut off in about a half hour, okay? So you don't wear down the battery. So think about this. It's a regular wood and regular steel drill. Okay, it's a hammer drill, but we also include this flashlight on it. The value never ends. Okay, never, never mind, it's a, it's a constant on. It's not really a flashlight. Okay, good. And that will just cycle off like that, and you're back to where that shuts off just ever, ever so slightly. Okay? Hopefully, everybody understood that. So let's get a, a decent sized bit in there. Oh. Remember, don't hit the screw you've already applied. So I'm going to take that. I have it in drill mode. But I know in two, that about halfway through, it's going to beep on me. So I'm going to put it in one right away. Now, somebody says, boy, that's a, that drill's really wailing through it. This is a fairly dull bit. I, I got this years ago, and it's about 12 years old, but you're gonna see how that was effortless. Hey, Chris, you want me to touch it with this bit? No, okay, good. All right. I don't know, I think I've covered everything. Oh, 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 wait. It comes with a belt hook. And you know what? Some people don't like belt hooks. So you can take it and take a screw right off, or you can switch sides. So it's, it's just it's a well put together drill. We have the handle, the anti-kickback design, the new gearbox, which is effortless. You can drill in wood, steel. What does it come with this uh, There's different levels. Okay, but the, what a lot of people are looking and walking away today with, they're combining, we have a, um, a kit with the impact and the TPC. And I think that's around $600, I think. So, uh, no, it's not. And people were looking at the impact, and then I showed them this. Can you get two belt clips? I don't know. Yes. Well, supplies last. Yeah. Just kidding. Yeah, of course you can. You can order one in the parts department. Does anybody else have any questions? Oh, <laughs> that's a great question, Tim. <laughs> you mentioned that to me the other day, didn't you? Somebody did. They love this about it. It has magnetic. <laughs> I'll be. I was gonna go home today and go. I didn't talk about the magnetic bit storage. This is a great feature, and. As simple as things are with, um, it, it may look simple on the tool. It's the little things I've always taught people about Festool, but that's magnetic in there. And if you look in here, it's really easy to take off. It's not a snap-in, and you can, there's two ramps either there or there, and it, you know, the bit always stays there. So that's another great feature. Does anybody else have any questions? Big day, you painted, oh, you got, oh, you're writing stuff down? Cool, bring it over. We're getting ready to wrap, I think. All right, baby. Cool, so uh, Big D did the whiteboard today. 
All right. Does anybody else have any questions while we're here about the TPC, the new drill? <laughs> okay. So as we always do this and we wrap it up, Big D online. Oh my goodness gracious, look at all the people that called in. You know what, I'm gonna tell you something. He's running the board, but he ain't no mini. And somebody actually asked, did you bring Spacky? Woo, no. Okay, so we have, let's call this out. We have Toledo, Ohio, Eatonton, Georgia. I know who that is. Plainfield, Il hey, Plainfield, is that uh, Judah and Sailor? All right, they're watching today. How you guys doing? Batavia, Ohio, Lost Wages, I mean Las Vegas. Haverhill, Mass, he's here. We got John Hers Heresy. Hersey. Brett Hersey. You guys are here. Okay, we have Whitestone, New York, Edmonton, Alberta, Deltona, Florida, Southern California, Cotton Grove, Minnesota, Atco, that's Joe from Atco, New Jersey, New Orleans, JLC Live, that's why we're, we're here, JLC Live. Joe, hey, where's Joe from USTF? We have Zanesville, Ohio, Staten Island, Columbia, Maryland, Rio Rancho, New Mexico, Zionsville, Indiana, that's where we're all from. That is uh, Fertley City, Minnesota, uh, I, I, Ito Bloke, Ontario, Malta. Christopher, how you doing, man? You're there every single week in Malta. I'm working on a fest tool live from Malta. Chris needs a vacation, okay? East Yorkshire, that's Ian, and Bermuda. So, I think that's it. Up. Oh, and we got Hank Foreman, known to us as Hank the Donut Dude from OP, Ocean, Ocean Park, but we call it OP Maine. He's been a good friend of mine for years, and I'm going to call it out. There's a lot of people here. They have been here every single year, the 15 years I've been doing this show, and I want to thank each and every one of you. Pan over here, that's Charlie. That's Charlie and that's Tim. And these are my friends, they're here. They're here every year and we appreciate it. That's John right there, he's here. Ronnie Fulton's here, everybody's here. <laughs> that's Ronnie, man, he didn't bring Cam. And of course, over here we have, oh yeah, yeah, he, he's the, he held this for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody, this is Rick Bush. Oh my goodness, Rick's here, look at that. This is Steve, this is Gary wonderful family this is tim thank you everybody for being here thank thanks for the donuts dude he brings me pickles because i don't eat donuts pickles, yeah. okay so as i always wrap the fest tool live boy this is different being here big d you paying attention this is wicked different i want to thank everybody watching online i want to thank everybody here very much for hanging out we always say this we love you everybody thank you for tuning in we're almost out of here. I'm going on vacation. If my sister Annie and my brother-in-law Ralph are watching, keep those beers cold. I'm on my way. I love you. And I think that's a wrap, Big D. Woo! Woo!